When I think about my role as a technology consultant, I ask myself a fundamental question. How can I be useful to an educational community? When it comes down to it, my work is really based on two things. What I know and how much I care. It is essential that I have a current knowledge of curriculum, pedagogy, and technology. I do this through research and professional development, by attending workshops, participating actively in social media, and having ongoing conversations with colleagues. It is equally important that I take the time to know the teachers, administrators, and professionals I work with in order to develop a relationship of trust in which innovation can thrive. My work must allow for a balance between knowledge and relationship in order to gently push teachers towards authentic technology use in their practice. I guide teachers to take risks with new and innovative practices, all with the goal of improving learning and student success through innovation. This is done through professional development, whether it be via individualized learning goals or small or large group workshops, differentiation is always key. Ongoing conversations that promote the use of technology in purposeful ways, and of course my own meaningful use of technology to support learning. I believe that a large part of education around technology needs to be about educating our students on the topic of digital citizenship. We often think that young people know how to navigate the internet and social media. But it's an assumption that is often false, and it's our duty to teach them how to do so. Back to my original question. How can an educational technology consultant be useful to a school community? We can find the keywords for it here. By listening, collaborating, modeling, creating authentic learning situations. And never forgetting that innovation and learner success are always at the front line.